Hello, hello, welcome back to Scrapcraft. Um, today I am going on a bit of an adventure. Uh, I'm a bit tired of doing, oh, look at me and my diamonds, uh, public works and stuff like that. What else? I needed, oh, okay, I know where that is. Pigman, yeah. I've been working on the nether a lot, uh, and I'm tired of working on it. I'll show you right quick what it's looking like. Um, I'm tired of working on it. And I'm also tired of working on, uh... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, so this is how we're looking so far. Um, what we're thinking is either a lava lake or just, like, a sheer drop-off straight down. Um, like, into other parts of the nether or something. I don't know, but we might have gas troubles then. Just thinking about it. Um, the chains, I definitely like. Chains are good. Uh, they look neat, and... Oh, we're in texture pack. You've noticed. Good. Um, the chains are good, and until we set up an ender farm, they'll work as bridges. Dangerous bridges. Very dangerous. But they work. That's that's what's important. Because, uh, like, the uh, the train tracks, I guess, are going to be around the outsides. Looks like each person's little mailbox and stuff, you know. That's how we're looking in here, and, um, yeah, we're using the texture pack. Oh, hello. Can I? I'm free? Good. Uh, using the texture pack because I asked around, and, uh, because I, I like using the texture pack a lot better, obviously. Um, and I asked around to see what people preferred with or without the texture pack, and it was pretty much unanimous with the texture pack. So, apparently people, oh, nope, 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 nope. Uh, apparently people like with the texture pack, which is good. I like it too. Um, so today, yeah, I've been putting these lamps in too. That's tedious work. Picking all the tedious jobs. Um, oh, I am going exploring with Carl tomorrow. No, no I love that. I actually went spl uh, exploring, exploring the other day, and um, yeah, these are <laughs> these are my exploring things. Um, oh, and my potatoes. And oh, these poor texture pack, man. These things. You need to pick a new picture for potatoes, because those... Uh-uh. <laughs> nope. Um, oh, mm, like the sighing doors from uh, Hitchhiker's Guide of the Galaxy. Um, so let's see. I need to go to... And I've been here before, that's why I have the coordinates. Um, 23,731. So then, good, X is increasing. And then the Z needs to be a lot bigger. So kind of that way. Uh, good. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I was pressed the wrong F. Um, I went exploring this way the other day. Went eastbound and down, like I think I talked about once upon a time. Um, went exploring found a village a very <laughs> a meager village it was three buildings but it was there uh lovely place though and uh found a desert village on the way back to here from there um and on the way to the first one i was telling the bear scare story and i have footage it was great um but i talked to carl um uh earlier today and today i was going to edit that video uh put it together and uh, talk to Carl. He's like, oh, hey, you want to go explore tomorrow? I was like, oh, yeah. Okay, sure. So I'll tell it then with him, because uh, there's a few details I realize I'm a bit sketchy on. And also, um, looking back, I would like to tell it a little differently. Not embellish it, don't you worry. Uh, I just left out a few um, possibly funny details. Well, this is interesting. Stone cliffs. Okay. Yeah, so I've been here before, so the careful viewer will know where we are. Um, no, that's a cave if I ever saw... Oh, wow! Oh! Is that cobbles? Nope. Oh, wow. Um, so I'm at X... 23... Twenty, see, and then we gotta go to seven thirty-one, 
I think it's like right down here. So yeah, the careful viewer will know where we are. And um, we're going over here to stake a claim to where I want my base to be. Um, okay, yeah, so it's over here. Uh, and I've been here before, so i got to look for... Oh, this is me. That's right. Uh, I'm going to build my base oh, in, around, on, through, and through, yeah, uh, the uh, stronghold. That's kind of a, a bold claim on my part, um, claiming one of the server's three strongholds for my own. But you know what? I do a lot of work on the server, and I think I'm entitled to do what I want. So I'm taking this. This is mine. I'm going to put a sign over here as soon as I get here. Oh, I need to put torches in here. Oh, I need to put torches in here. Okay, so that'll be project something. Um, where's my sign? Uh, where do I want? Mm. I'll put it up top. Um, so yeah, what I'm planning on is building, digging, oh, it's going to be so much digging, um, what's it called? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, mm-hmm, yep, the words, I have them, I have the words. Uh, like a, not a cylinder, but more of a cavern. So it's going to kind of, it's going to be cylindrical, but it's going to kind of uh, taper inward towards the top. And I've got a mad scientist feeling about what I want to do with the top. Um, yep, okay. Um, so I've got a, a feeling about, oh, there's probably set up shop up here. No, I won't. I'll wait till I'm down here. Uh, you're watching me work at my greatest. <laughs> um, taper inward. Mad scientist feeling about what I want to do, but I'm not sure. And one of the only problems... Oh, hello, Mr. Bat. We won't see you forever. Um, one of the feelings I've got is... Uh, I don't exactly know, because it's going to be a very vertical place. Um... Man, I really cut off all access to this thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. And what is my X and Z right now? Oh, hello. For me! Um... Sorry, I got mail. That was, that was why I was excited for the second. Somebody slid mail under my door. And I love mail. Mail's wonderful. Um, so let's see here. I am at 27. Mm -hmm. And then 732. Okay. So, uh, I don't think... Yeah, that'll help save my life later. This place is so spooky. I don't know if you guys remember when I was in here, but spooky is definitely the word for this place. Uh, it looks a lot different with the texture pack. I like it a lot, though. Oh, I'm going to have to do something about all that. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I'm going to have to do something about everything. Mm -hmm. No, I was using this. Okay. Um... So let's go... Oh, no, I wasn't. I was checking. I'm thinking I'm going to dig straight down from the surface. Oh, that's neat. Um, Yeah, we're back in Optifine. That's right. Can't... I hope that they do well on this uh, 1.5 update coming down, the, coming down the pipes. Because uh, Optifine does make Minecraft run a lot better. And if they can come close to what that would be with the default Minecraft, that would be lovely. Okay, so I don't think I'll die if I dig kind of straight down over this guy. Because it looks like it's not quite in the ravine. Um, yeah. And you know, because of the ravine, this guy isn't a really... Hello. 
a pristine fortress. So I don't think any will mind. Shoot, Carl's still building his uh, warehouse type deal. Oh, I can get rid of these. No, yeah, for a little while. Um, yeah. So the goal is to have that end portal at the middle. And I would very much like to make Ender Pearl travel um, the primary means of uh, moving about my base. So I want like balconies on the sides of the cylinders that I can plop, 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 toss, throw through, around. And I'm going to 27, 732. So oh, X needs to go this way, and then this needs to go that way. So 27, and then 7, 32. Right here. This is where we're going. Mm -hmm. And I know every fiber in somebody's bones is like, he's gonna die. You're probably right. But I'm feeling lucky. And I don't know if you know about me and luck, but I do have quite a few diamonds to my name. So, there's that. Also, I'm the world's greatest enchanter. There's that. <laughs> Those two things, I feel like a pretty lucky guy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Perfect. Um, so, I would like to make this the center of said cylinder. Um, kind of deal. And because uh, this is going to be an odd number um, diameter, what I'm thinking is... Uh, boy, those look funny. Huh. I guess it's because you're supposed to see them from this side. Yeah. Um, I guess it's just missing that right there. Um, I would like to make this the center. And I don't know how big I want to make my circle, so uh, I'm going to come back and we'll outline it up top um, of how big we want this guy to go. And I'm not sure how deep I want it or what I'm going to do at the bottom of it, but I doubt I'll have to worry about that for three months, because <laughs> this is going to be a big project. Hopefully that ravine will uh, cover a lot of the digging um, and stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to go up top and go work on some stuff. And we'll come back once I kind of figure out uh, the diameter I wanted this guy. See how big we want that cavern to be and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so we'll be right back. And we're back. Um, basically what I've been doing is uh, digging out uh, the circle. The one that I have up top, you know? Um, the diameter 47 one, uh, which I'm thinking is actually pretty good. So this stone wall right here behind me that I've placed, because um, I think we're going to do stone. Uh, it'll be a lot easier. Oh, yeah, this is the danger side. Uh, it'll be a lot easier, because uh, I'll be digging through stone for the most part, to use uh, stone for the walls. But uh, I think it would actually look pretty good, um, especially if we played with lighting on it a little. Well, crap. <laughs> oh. Good. Okay. Um, especially if we play with the lighting a little. I think it'll look pretty good. And uh, I'll, of course, spruce it up with some other blocks so it's not so monochromatic. And um, I think it'll look pretty good um, to make this inner... I want to call it a cavern um, out of that. So I haven't quite finished the circle. There's a little bit of a problem with uh, misalignment over there. Um, but this is kind of how big it is. So you see that ladder way down there? That's from this side to that side. Oh, yep. And uh, the end portal will be in the middle. And you can't really see up top from down here. But I think that stone's only like five blocks from the surface, something like that. Like, you can tell over here. Um, oh, I don't have a pickaxe. Dang it. Yeah, you can see. So we're not that far down. Um, what's the... Where am I? Y of 33? Yeah, so it's not too far down. Um, 
and you can kind of see, I don't know how deep down that is, but certainly going to be troublesome to mess with. I'm trying to think, like, um, I would go through a lot of diamond trying to obsidian and then mine all that, so what I'm thinking is uh, I'll bucket brigade it um, to a lava reservoir that I'll build somewhere um, later. Much later. <laughs> So for now, what I'm going to do is just keep digging this circle, circle, uh, circle uh, and building it through this ravine area. So I don't have to worry about digging anything out of there. Uh, I should probably make some pathways into the rest of the fortress, though. And I do need to light the rest of the area up, like up there and stuff like that. Um, and uh, obviously mine all this out. So I'm going to extend this circle... And I could always go straight up to the surface and do a cylinder all the way from surface down. And that wouldn't look too bad. But what I'm thinking is I'll do a... Um, and we have to go to the surface to kind of show... Oh, hello. Uh, show this. Oh, let me pull something up right quick, though. Um, my little circle application. I don't know how to make these things. Gotta look it up. So basically, I made the circle using a sphere generator, um, and it's the midpoint, like the middle ring of a sphere, because it displays them in rings, which is what spheres are. Um, yep, you're going down. Okay. And um, so basically, I made that circle like that. And... Uh, Sorry, I can't talk and chew bubble gum. Um, what again? Yeah. What I'm gonna do is um, so this is that center hole. So if I did a cylinder, I would dig down from this outer ring of cobblestone, uh, straight down. So this grass block, I would just dig down straight from here, and I get there, and that's how this ladder works. Uh, is it goes down like that. And that would work, uh, but what I'm thinking is, because I'm using a sphere generator, um, if I stretch that sphere out a little as I go down, uh, it would look pretty cool. So it kind of looks like it's tapering up into a dome. Um, and I think that's what I want to do, because I think it'd look very cool. And then at the top, I'm going to leave out a few layers, so that this surface level is um, cuts off the top couple layers, and that'll leave us with a skylight. Um, to the end portal, which I think would be pretty neat. Because um, it would give the end portal some cool lighting and stuff like that. So I'm looking at my thing, and this block is the center. So that needs to go, give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so then let's translate that to this. Uh, do I have any stone left? Uh, someone here? Yes. Um, I'll go to sleep right quick. So what I'm thinking is, if I build this thing from the top down, that would mean a lot less digging. Um, at least this sphere part, like the curve. Because after a certain point, it'll just be that cylinder straight down. Because I don't, I don't really care about the bottom. I'll probably put a lake down there or something like that. Uh, I think that would look nice. Maybe do some water features. Because I think a grassy garden wouldn't look too good. So, one. Uh, that goes to ladder. We'll do it over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, let's double check that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that. I think I counted right, we'll find out later. So that's one and two. And then this goes over one, two, three. Use your shuffle, Panda. So this will be the top layer of our sphere. And I'm okay with having this stone on the surface. Uh, I got plans for it later. One, two, three. Yeah. And then on the other side, same thing. Mm-hmm. And then the other one goes out. One, two, three, four, five. And 
and then let's see. So, boop, boop, and then it goes out one more than the last one. So you can see this is kind of how we're going to do this. Um, is this will be the topmost ring of the thing, and I'll go ahead and build it off camera and come back. And um, so any blocks inside of this, we will need to dig out uh, in their entirety. Um, I might go get some TNT from the community center. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in a moment, so sit tight. All right, so, um, well, this is the first ring done, um, and they're all going to be out of stone. So most of them I can leave. Uh, I just have to mine around them, the inside around them. Um, and uh, it looks pretty good. So this opening, this circle... Um, it'll be a skylight that goes all the way down the shaft, uh, cavern. I don't know what I'm going to call it. And, uh, this will be the outermost wall of that cavern. So that's a pretty good, pretty good ratio. So, like, um, this inner circle's like one-third the diameter, I think. I don't know. I don't, I don't think, but it feels like it. I'd need, like, a bird's eye view to tell, um... And that thing right there, I just rigged up like a little water vader. Um, because if I'm just going to be digging down these circles, it's going to be a lot easier if I can get down through the middle versus that ladder. So I'll just go like, oh no! <laughs> well, I guess that works too. Oh, I just heard a skeleton. Um, yeah, so we'll just do one of those. And... Um, it's gonna be months and months of line uh mining boys and girls <laughs> um once we get the um the rings to a suitable level, I can start building uh rooms and stuff like that so the first stuff I'll do will be like a bedroom and uh an inventory but to make the digging go faster, I think I've got a plan um that I might implement uh the next couple episodes uh, it's kind of bold, so we'll see um but yeah, so that should speed things along. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what we're doing on time. If we have more time, I'll keep going. If we don't, see you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs> You're lovely, and I appreciate your, your viewing. Uh, yeah. So I'll either be right back, or this is goodnight. Um,